Man City top the table over in the Premier League, but this weekend sees a bit of a zinger. It is the North London derby. Arsenal, Spurs, who's going to come out on top? We'll take a little look. Next. prediction video today we take a look at match number six that's right over in the premier league that's burley burley six fingers uh of course uh this coming weekend we'll get to that in just a second if you knew where you've been smash your subscriber magazine all things premier league related love and rovers related world football really we're gonna all hear boys under one ruski that's right bit of a zinger this weekend north london derby plus another whole handful of games to look forward to uh in this coming weekend but of course we'll get to that in a second of course big shout out to my vrps they are the patrons you know who you are but anyway, let's get into it. Of course, and recap the results from this past weekend, which was, of course, a bit of a you know, some 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 shockers in there. So here, here we go, recapping the results right here, right now. So here they are in all their glory. Start at the top there with Wolves three one loss to Liverpool. Called it, lads. Got that one spot on the nose. Meanwhile, Villa three uh, one win over Crystal Palace. I'm on the three 0 win myself. Fulham one 0 win over Luton Town. Uh, I, I got that one bang on the nose as well. I'm bloody looking good here, don't I? Uh, meanwhile, United against Brighton two two. I went with. I've got the right amount of goals here. Uh, but it was a 3 1 for Brighton. Spurs left it late with a 2 1 win over Sheffield United. I went with a 3 to win myself. Uh, meanwhile, City 3 1 win over West Ham. I got the same amount of goals on this one as well. Just got it all a little bit all over the place. Everton did lose to Arsenal. 2, a two was my pick. 1 0 win. It was in the real world. Bournemouth uh, did pick up a draw, solid draw against Chelsea. I went with a 3 0 win myself. Newcastle 3 1 win over Bright Brentford. That was my pick. 1 0 win it was in the end. And Burnley picked up a draw against Forest uh, in a bit of an action packed sort of match. That was just the other night. This is the table right here right now. City are top. Spurs are in second Liverpool. And then Arsenal, a familiar look to the top four there. Where are United? They're down at 30. Where are Chelsea? They're down at 14th. Love to see it. Love to see Everton, Burnley, and Luton going down. Take it. We'll take it. We'll take it all day long to the bank. We are, of course, taking a look at the Super Brew. It's wide open. It's 100% live. So let's. Go and have a little look then, of course. We're going to recap this week's and, of course, last week's because I think we missed that. Anyway, so Alex Weller flexing his muscles there. 19.5 points this past week. Uh, Con DJ Snake with 18.5. Junior's up there with 17. Master Fighter as well. This, of course, is just a weekly tally. Me, where am I? Where am I? Please tell me I put my predictions in. I don't even see it. There I am. There I am. 12 points. Well, not great. It's not great, but it's okay. Don't worry. Just keep on competing and keep on doing your business. So that's for that over into match number four, uh, which is my previous one. Lewis. Lewis R. Running away with a 12.5. Elijah. One, two, three as well with 12.5. They topped the, top the charts last, last, last week. Yav VMP BP with 12 as well. Bluebird Legend up there is 12 points as well. Vinny Hong and the Chasing Bloody Pack. Well done to all you guys. That's the past couple of weeks. But what about the leaderboard? Well, uh, 82 people are in it. So great competition right here at, right now. Lewis R, though, 73 points. Bit of a gap between themselves and Georgetown, who's moved up one spot to number two. Matthew, 21, up also to, uh, to number three. Uh, I'm in 32, which is not great, but I'm up eight. No, I'm not. Where the heck am I? Where the heck am I? I'm down a little bit. Uh, there are up two spots to 35. Not great. Con DJ Snake, though, big mover, 23 spots, 234. It is tight. So I'm on uh, 50. Uh, if I can get, I need, I need a, just six, you know, I need, I need a bit of a miracle. Even though it's early days, you know, I just got to get a couple of spot ons. I actually want to look at my scores here. I'm a little bit concerned that I got ripped off. I got ripped off, I think. Where am I? 10. I got some bang on the noses there. I'm sure I did. Where am I? 12 points. Can I have a look at my thing? Can we have a little look? Can I have a little look at how I got on last time? This is uh, H. This is important stuff here, people. Uh, what is going on? Uh, this is it. This one. Oh, I don't fucking know what I'm doing here. I don't even know what I'm. It's it's compu It's shit. I, whatever. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Oh, I have bloody broken it. Oh, whatever. Forget about it. I've just broken the super brew. Let's get into the next one then. Of course, looking forward to these games. Of course, coming at you. Uh, in all their glory. That's right. So kicking on forward, let's get into these uh, coming at you this coming weekend then, shall we, over in the Premier League. So let's start at the top there. It's Brentford up against bloody Everton coming at you. A bit of a zinger. Uh, that's on Saturday, September the 23rd. Now these two sides, going to my eyes, up each other six times to 2010. We've got three wins to Brentford. We've got two wins to Everton. And we've got one draw at the moment. Brentford, their biggest win, 3-2 wins, scoring 11 goals in those six games. 1.83 goals a game ratio. Everton, though, 4-1 win, their biggest over uh, Brentford. 12 goals scored in six games. Two goals 
goals a game average. However, Everton are in 18th spot right now, which is one point in the world, 25% form for them, just one win in six. Brentford, though, uh, just one defeat in the past six, 58% form for them. They're in 11th with six points on the board right now. Of course, last time around, though, over at the Community Stadium, uh, it was a 1 1 draw back in August 2022. Everton uh, just one defeat in the past four against uh, Brentford, so they do like playing them. However, the odds for this game coming at you right here, right now, we do have Brentford 4 3 on for the Richie 11 4 is draw 7 2. Is your away win here? We are backing Brentford 2 0 win for them to take the victory and again put Everton in a whole host of trouble. A Brighton up against Bournemouth in the Battle of the Bees. It's the Battle of the Beaches. That's right. Brighton coming at you 22 times. They two, these two sides have played each other since 2003. Seven wins for Brighton, 10 wins for Bournemouth, five draws, of course. Biggest win for Brighton, three nil wins, scoring 27 goals in the 22 games, 1.23 goals a game ratio. Bournemouth, though, their biggest win, five nil win, scoring 31 goals in the 22 games, 1.41 goals a game ratio. The visitors, 42% form for them right now, just one win in six. They are 15th with just three points on the board. Brighton flying high in fifth with 75% form for them, just one defeat of the past six as well. Last time around, though, over at the uh, the Amex, it was a one nil win for Brighton back in February 2023. And Brighton, of course, so preoccupied with some European action this weekend, uh, this week. 11 4 on is your Brighton, 4 1 is draw, 30 2 is your win. Tight here. Going to go 2 1 win, though. Brighton should win it. Uh, but just, I don't think they're going to be as guns blazing as they have been. So let's kick on forward, though. Burnley against Man United. Oh, wow, 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 wee, wow. Of course, coming at you on a Saturday, these two sides have played 18 times down two. We've got two wins for Burnley, 11 wins for United, and we've got five draws, of course. Burnley's biggest win, 2 0 win, scoring just 11 goals in the 18 games, 0.61 goals game ratio. Up against United, their biggest win, 3 0 win, scoring 29 goals in 18 games, 1.61 goals a game ratio. United, though, 42% form for them at the moment. Uh, three defeats of the past, four. Uh, 13 for the table, just six points on the board. Up against Burnley, who are 19th, with just one point on the board, one win at the last six games as well. Last time around, though, over at Third Moor, it was the 1-1 draw back in February 2022. And of course, United in uh, European action this week. Uh, Burnley just counting their fingers, aren't they? 10-3 is your Burnley. It's at 10-7 on. Is United and 60-5 is the draw. One, oh, I want to see United win this one. 3 no win for them. Put Burnley in a whole host of trouble. And of course... Keep, keeping uh, keeping them in, in their shit. Uh, Chelsea up against Aston Villa. That's right. Coming at you on... Uh, where are we on this one? Is, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit blind. Where are you? Where are you? Chelsea up against Aston Villa. That's on Sunday. That's right. Sunday, September the 24th. Uh, of course, Chelsea not in European action, are they? 60 times these two sides have played each other since 1983. We've got 32 wins for Chelsea, 15 wins for Villa, and 13 draws. The biggest win for Chelsea, 8 near win. It's got 105 goals in the 60 games. 1.75 goals a game ratio. Villa's, Villa's biggest win, though, over Chelsea. 3 near wins. Scoring 59 goals in 60 games. Not point nine eight goals a game ratio Villa though just one defeat the past six 83% form for them right now seventh in the table with nine points on the board Chelsea 50% form for them right now one two lost two and drawn two uh heading into this thank you very much oh little delivery breakfast breakfast delivery uh, of course uh, Chelsea though uh 14 for the table with five points on the board right now last time around over at Stamford Bridge was a 2 0 win for Villa back in April 2023 and of course the odds right here right now for this one we have 11 to 10 on is your Chelsea 11 to 4 is the draw 11 to 4 is also the away win here gonna go with a 2-0 win for Chelsea they should win this one and of course bring the three points back to or, or, or just kick them up the table uh, Chelsea are not in action here it's Crystal Palace up against Fulham all over the place here all over the place this is actually coming at you on Saturday September the 23rd now these two sides up each other 16 times in 1989 we've got four wins for Palace seven wins for Fulham and we've got uh, five draws of course Palace biggest win for them over Fulham 2-0 win scored 17 goals in the 16 games 1.06 goals a game ratio up against Fulham though 3-0 win their biggest 25 goals scored in 16 games 1.5 Five six goals a game ratio. Fulham though fifty eight percent form for them. Uh, just one defeat past four. Tenth at the table, seven points on the board. Crystal Palace though fifty eight percent form for them. Also one defeat past four. Ninth in the table, seven points on the board as well. So two sides doing pretty good in the Premier League at the moment. Last time around though, at Selhurst Park was a three 0 win for Fulham, who are. Uh, Unbeaten against Palace over the last three. However, a couple of those were draws. The odds for this one coming at you right here, right now. Six to five odd is your, is your Palace. Five to two draws. Thirteen to four is the the away win here. I can't separate them. Gonna go with a draw myself. Point a piece. What do you think? Let me know down below. There we go. Liverpool up against West Ham United. That's coming at you on Sunday as well. Sunday, the September the twenty fourth. These two sides that play each other fifty seven times in nineteen eighty three. We've got thirty five wins for Liverpool. Eleven wins for West Ham. We've got eleven draws. Of course, biggest win for Liverpool. Five 0 wins. Scoring one hundred nine goals in the fifty seven games. One point nine one goals a game ratio. Up against West Ham. Three 0 win. Their biggest fifty five goals scored in the fifty seven games. Not point nine six goals a game 
game ratio. West Ham, though, 58% for them right now. Just one defeat in the past five. Six in the table. Ten points level, not too shabby for West Ham. Up against, up against Liverpool, though, third in the table. 92% for them, winning four on the bloody bounce. And, of course, they did pick up a one win over West Ham last time around over at Anfield. And, of course, they were unbeaten against them over the last three. Just one defeat against them over the last six. Last time around, uh, actually, sorry, the bookies odds on this one. We have five to two on. Is your Liverpool Red Hot favourites? 50 to four is your 11 to two. Is your away win here? We're going with a big one here. Four one win for Liverpool. Uh, and, of course, a statement result and hopefully pu pu pushing them up the table. They go. Next time we have Luton Town against Wolves. If there's ever a result needed for either of the two sides. Bit of a six-pointer already. Uh, it's that kind of kind off road. It is Luton. It is Wolves. They've played each other 12 times. Sid 94. Just two wins for Luton, six wins for Wolves. We've got four draws at the moment. Luton's biggest win, 1-0 win, just scoring 13 goals in the 12 games. 1.08 uh, goals a game ratio. Up against Wolves, 2-0 win, their biggest 18 goals scored in 12 games. 1.50 goals a game ratio. They are 16th right now, Wolves. Three points on the board, 33% fall for them right now. Luton are pointless right now. 20th in the table, one win in the last six, 25% fall for them heading into this. Last time around, though, over at Kenilworth Road, it was a 1-0 win for Luton. It was in the FA Bloody Cup. That was back in January 29, 2013. However, last time they played in the league, it was in the Championship. It was a 3-2 to win for Wolves back in March 20, 2007. Uh, the odds for this though, we have Luton 11 to 5 for the ratio. 6 to 5 is your Wolves, 12 to 5 is your draw. Going for it here, guys. Going to go with a Luton win. They've got to win sometime. 2 1 win for them. Uh, and if ever is the time to win, it's going to be this one. So it's going to be scrappy. It's going to be a little bit of a, 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 an ugly encounter. Going to go with the, the Mad Hatters on this one. Next up, we have Manchester City up against Forest. Of course, should be a no brainer on this one, but we'll go over it anyway. Of course, play each other according to my ass 13 times in 1984. Five wins for City, four wins for Forest, and we've got four draws. Of course, City six they win their biggest uh, over the course of those thirteen games. Twenty four goals scored in the in the matches. One point eight five goals game ratio up against Forest. Their biggest win three 0 wins scored eighteen goals in the thirteen games. One point three eight goals a game ratio. Forty percent form though for Forest right now. Just one win of four eight for the table and seven points on the board. City though perfect right now. Six wins on the bounce. One hundred percent form for them. Uh, looking a okay. However, last time played each other in all venues and all all grounds. It was a one one draw. That was over at the City ground. That's of course Nottingham City, Nottingham Forest. Of course. Meanwhile, on the flip side, when they last time the pleasure though at the Etihad it was a 6-0 win for City as well if you want to open up the, the cauldron a little bit of the last three uh, it's actually been one win one draw and one defeat so uh, a very even encounter but of course realistically I'm just trying to sell it I'm trying to spin it in another way guys 7-1 on is your City 30-2 is your draw and 18-1 is your Forest of course long 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 shots going big on this one as well 4-0 win for City to take it to the bank next up we have Sheffield United up against Newcastle of course coming at you at Bramall Lane now these two sides again have played each other corner my eyes 11 times in 1993 just 3 wins for Sheffield United 7 wins for Newcastle and 1 draw of course the Blades 2-0 uh, win was their biggest 8 goals scored in the 11 games 0.73 goals a game ratio up against Newcastle, of course, their biggest win, 4 0 win, scoring 17 goals in those 11 matches, 1.55 goals a game ratio. Um, the Geordies coming at you, 50% form for them right now, 1 3 and lost 3, 12th in the table, and 6 points on the board. Sheffield United are in 17th with 1 point on the board, 8% form for them, uh, of course. Uh, but last time I played each other, Abraham Lane was back in January 2021, it was a 1 0 win for Sheffield United, uh, of course. The odds for this, though, we have 11 uh, 2 is your Sheffield United, 9 4 on is your Newcastle, 7 2 is your draw. Gonna go with a bit of a shocker here, guys. You gotta have them every now and again, 1 0 win for me for the Blades. They, they, they were a little bit unlucky against Spurs, I think. And uh, again, at home, Bramall Lane, uh, they'll make it awkward for, for Newcastle. We've not been a, a, that great uh, so far. Again, a busy week for them with Champions League as well. And then, of course, we wrap it up with the cherry on top. It is, of course, the North London Derby. It is Sunday, September the 24th. It's Arsenal. It's Spurs. Of course, it's the Emirates. 69 times they've played each other since 1983. We've got 28 wins for Arsenal, 16 wins for Spurs, 25 draws, of course. Arsenal, 5-2 win their biggest, scoring 114 goals in the 69 games. 1.65 goals a game ratio. Spurs, though, 5 Five one win their biggest eighty seven goals scored in the in the sixty nine matches one point two six goals game ratio Spurs are in second with of course thirteen points on the board seventy five percent form for them right now just one defeat in the past six up against Arsenal who are fourth unbeaten in the last six picking up five wins ninety two percent form for them heading into this as well last time around though over at the uh, Emirates it was a three one win for Arsenal who actually make it back to back wins for them uh, over Spurs last season just one defeat in the past four for them and of course the odds right here right now we have ten seven on is your Arsenal sixty five is the draw sixty five is also your way win here I do think there's going to be goals in there and it's going to be one hell of a game and unfortunately Spurs will lose this one though 3-2 win uh, for Arsenal at home of course if the game was flipped around then of course I think scores possibly will be flipped around as well so going with Arsenal here 3-2 win in the end and that my friends completes the set right here right now in a very very busy week over in the Premier League that's of course my picks and if I'm right this is what the table will look like it'll be Sydney top of the table with 18 points the are in second Arsenal and then Brighton with Spurs in fifth Burnley Everton Luton Town going down of course but of course that could all change very very soon as well but until then guys that's all i've got for you make sure you get your picks in with the super brew 
And of course, we'll look forward to seeing you back around for the next week of next week of matches. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the little bell. And of course, I'll see you soon for the next one.